Here's how you extract audio from a video file in Studio One 6. I'll just find the video file that I want, say this one here, and simply drag it in to Studio One. You'll see a video lane pop up and our viewer here. Now, technically we don't need this open. I mean, you can leave it open if you want, but we're more interested in the audio. So in previous versions, you would come down here and you would click and you would get the audio file you know, separated from the video file. But now we come up here to the video track. You'll see this little icon right here. It looks kind of like a waveform, right? Like an audio waveform. So just click that and we'll create an audio track from the audio file embedded in this video. So just click yes right there. And now we have our audio track. Now I don't really need this window open right here. Of course we can make this larger. And now if we start to edit, you'll notice that, hey, it's starting to edit the video as well. Maybe you don't want that. Maybe you just wanna edit the audio separate from the video. So you see, even if I move the audio around, the video is gonna move with it. So let's say we don't even need the video track, we just want the audio. Well, in that case, again, head over here, and now we'll click this icon, which if you hover over it, says link audio track editing. So just click that. And now we'll unlink, you can see how the triangles are now on uh, opposite sides. Now we have unlinked the audio file from the video file. So now I'm free to edit this audio file however I want, separate from the video. In fact, I can just click the video here and completely delete that track, don't need it at all. Then I can be free to edit my audio however I want, even use you know, whatever effects that I want on that audio track. However, what if you have a video file that has multiple audio tracks embedded within it? Now this doesn't happen very often. It might happen, you might have this if you use something like OBS, like I do. If you're a content creator, if you're a video game streamer or a recorder, uh, then you may need to know how to work with multiple audio files embedded within a video file. Again, it's not going to affect the vast majority of people, but I still want to cover it. I uh, still want to cover it here. So let's just take this file, for example. Now we're in DaVinci Resolve right now. I'll just import this file real quick, this video file. Now, whenever I put it in my track, though, you'll notice here in DaVinci Resolve, there's actually three separate audio files or audio tracks within this single video file. So within DaVinci Resolve, and by the way, you can get the free version of DaVinci Resolve if you have uh, video files with multiple audio tracks embedded within them. You can also use your VST effects right here uh, within the free version of DaVinci Resolve as well. Now, if I take the same exact video file and I come back over here to Studio One and I grab the same file and I pull it in, you're going to notice, let's do the same thing here, we come up here again, we click that, and we say yes, and we extract our audio file. There we go, nice separate track, of course. We wanna come up here again and unlink the video from the audio, so let's get rid of that. But now we're just left with a single audio track. And the audio track that it's going to extract will be the one that is the bottom of the stack. Okay, so I'm just telling you this, if you happen to be a content creator, somebody that uses something like OBS or a video game streamer recorder, if you want to extract those audio files in Studio One, say like your vocal track. So for example, this is a uh, voice track here. You just hit this button right here, right from a, a, a plugin video I did previously. Uh, so I always make sure I structure OBS to have my microphone track at the very, very bottom. Okay, because again, in Studio One, if you have multiple audio files, in a video, you know, in a video track, in a video file, uh, Studio One will only extract this bottom file, okay? So it doesn't extract multiple audio files from your video files, all right? That part might be confusing <laughs> to some people. Uh, don't let it be confusing for the, again, for the vast majority of folks, uh, you're never ever gonna deal with uh, video files that have multiple, uh, you know, multiple audio files. So most, Again, you know, most video files are just gonna have a single stereo file, which again, we simply come up here, click this button, and we extract our audio file. There it is, not too much on that right there, but again, we can edit it right in here. Again, we'll unlink that, and then we'll get rid of the video file because we don't need it in this case. And then I'm free to edit my audio however I wish right here in Studio One.